Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at negative powers with just numbers. Uh, just to kind of get you guys started off, um, what we have is just a generic little formula that you might have actually seen. But I want to actually show you guys why, how this came about and um, how we actually know what it looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how it works with numbers. So when I actually do 4 to the power of negative 1, um, what I actually get is 0 0.25. And if I write that as a fraction, so I'm going to go F to D, that's actually 1 over 4. So <clears throat> I can say that 4 to the power of negative 1 is the same thing as saying uh, 1 over 4. So if I look at next at 4 to the power of negative 2, then what I end up getting is this answer, which is 0 0.0625. And once again, I'm going to convert it to a fraction, which is actually 1 over 16. So what you can see here is that the powers, um, the power actually goes to the denominator. It actually becomes a positive power because we know that 1 over 4 is the same thing as saying, uh, sorry about that, 1 over 4 to the power of 1. And then uh, 16 can be written as uh, 4 squared. So I guess that's where this whole idea comes where, so for example, if you have x to the power of negative n, then all we do is we just rewrite that as 1 over x to the power of positive n. Okay, let's have a look at a, look at a couple of really quick examples with this idea. Um, so let me just write up some questions first. So I'm going to be looking at um, four of these questions here. So the first one we're looking at is 2 to the power of negative 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite that as 1 over 2 to the power of 3. And then 2 to the power of 3 is just 8. So this is the final answer for question A. Now, when you have fractions, um, and this always works with a fraction, one of the uh, tips that I actually give people is that when you have a fraction and then you're raising it to a negative power, what you do is simply uh, flip the fraction upside down and change it, uh, change the power to a positive. Now, the reason behind it is because this could be written as, so just kind of showing uh, the sideways working for it, why this happens. So we can write that as 2 to the power of negative 2 and then 3 to the power of negative 2. And because they are negative powers, uh, I would have to actually uh, switch them to the opposite ends, which ends up being positive powers. So it's like when I bring 3 to the numerator, it becomes uh, 3 to the power of negative 2 to the numerator becomes 3 squared. And then 2 to the power of negative 2, when I bring it to the denominator, it becomes 2 squared. And of course, this is the same thing as saying 3 over 2 whole squared. So basically, guys, what I've done is I've simply just kind of skipped the step. Skipped like about two steps and just went directly there. So what I can do from here, though, is then I can actually rewrite this as 3 squared over 2 squared, which is 3 squared is just 9, and 2 squared is 4. Okay, so what happens when you're dealing with a negative number? Same rules applies, all right? So negative 3 to the power of negative 2 can be written as 1 over negative 3 squared. And you got to be careful with that negative 3 um, squared because people actually forget to put that in brackets. And if you forget to put it in the brackets, um, what's, what ends up happening is you start getting some uh, weird answers. And I'm sure you guys what I mean by it. So if you don't put that bracket, or let's say we put the bracket and we put negative 3 to the power of negative 2, then the answer is this. If I just put that as a fraction, I get 1 over 9. However, if I don't use the fraction, what ends up happening is I actually end up getting the negative answer of it. So as you can see, that's the difference between putting brackets and no brackets. And you can kind of see why it ends up being a positive 9 and not a negative 9 because of that brackets. And when you have 1 over negative 3 times negative 3, it's actually positive 9. So that's something to remember, guys, with your negatives. Any, anytime you're dealing with negatives and powers, you want to put that negative inside a bracket just to help you out. So what happens when it's negative 3 to the power of negative 3? So once again, same rules. Negative 3 to the power of positive 3. Um, and if you think about it, uh, what you have is uh, a negative number to the power of an odd number will result in a negative number. Now, if you don't believe me, let's do this the long way. We've got negative 3 times negative 3 
times negative 3. And when we do that, negative uh, 3, negative 3 is 9. 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. So the answer for this ends up being negative 1 over 27. So if we were to do this in the calculator, we've got negative 3 to the power of negative 3. That's that thing. But if I actually convert it to a fraction to decimal, I've got negative 1 over 27. All right, guys, that's it from me. Don't forget to like and share uh, this video. And also don't forget to subscribe for more um, updates on some of these questions. Okay, thank you for watching.